Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. Today we're talking about selection in Pointwise. There are a few exceptions, but most operations in Pointwise, you need to select an entity before performing the operation. Because of this, selection is a pretty important thing. The most obvious way to select something is using the left mouse button and just clicking on it. If I want to know if something is selected or not, it'll be in bold in the lower right hand corner where the name is. It's not selected, now it is selected. You'll notice when I hover the mouse over this domain, it looks like multiple cursors are stacked on each other. That's because there are multiple entities to select here. There's domain 55 and domain 56, and I can toggle between them by hitting the space bar. If there are more than two entities, it will toggle between all of them whenever you hit the space bar. If I want to select multiple entities, I can hold the control button and it will make it an additive selection. If I want to select multiple things with only one click of the mouse button, I can use the selection box. To do this, I'll click the left mouse button and drag. You'll notice the cursor next to the cursor is an icon with a line through a box. That means that I will select anything this box touches, like that. If I hold shift and do a selection box, you'll notice the line now is totally contained within the box. This means the only things that will be selected are those that are totally contained within the box. If I want to toggle between the entities that are selected and the entities that are not selected, I can use control T. And yes, this works when you have nothing selected. Moving away from GUI selection, we can select entities through the list panel as well. I can expand the connectors, and it works much the same way. Left clicking will select a single entity. I can use control to select multiple entities. You will notice that they are being highlighted in the GUI as I select them or hover over them. I can use shift to select multiple in this way or I can click the entity type and select all of them. I find this to be fairly useful with some of our flashpoint features. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, drop us a line below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all. Have a pleasant Tuesday.